Welcome back to the channel, Bloomboro Collector. And we're doing a giveaway for the best card out of the box. Last video, we managed to pull this raised foil castrol. Very cool. Still have to look back through all the cards to make sure that is the best hit of the box. But hey, I mean, you probably can't do a whole lot better than a raised foil, right? Like, the card's got to be pretty darn good for it to be better than a raised foil, right? So, as with the last video, we're doing a giveaway for this one. The way you enter is just comment. That is it. That is as simple as that. I use an online random YouTube comment picker to choose the winner after about five or six days after the video goes live. The token always sticks to the first foil there. All right, Camellia, the Seed Miser. Hearthborn Battler. Clement, the Worry Warp. Prosperous Bandit. Let me try to get this in here a little bit. All right, Valley Might Caller. All right, and then the commons and uncommons, I'm just gonna go through a little quicker because I like to see the art. Some good ones in here. The thing about these collector boosters is that uh, there's so few packs, you actually don't see every card in like the first box you open. Some of these commons and uncommons, I just really like looking at the artwork. So, Festival of Embers for the foil. Got the infamous Cruel Claw, mythic. All right, Valley Flood Collar. Evercoat Ursine. We've got Castrol, the Wind Crested, and not raised foil. All right, Clifftop Lookout, Heirloom Epic. Very cool, very cool. All right, next pack. All right, Thorn Vault Forager. Oops, I'm putting my tokens in the wrong pile. All right. I've got Nissa in frog form. <laughs> Very cool. All right, Valley Rot Collar. Calamity of Cinders. Got Mythic Storm Splitter. Very cool. He's using a fish skeleton as like a staff. A wizard otter, yeah, it's like a mage staff. Interesting. Very cool, very cool. Wall. All right, we've got Narset, Parter of Veils. It's Commander. There's a lot of Commander cards in these, I've noticed. Jackdaw Savior, Hired Claw. Tempt with Bunnies, Manifold Mouse, Swamp. If you want to see all of the lands, I did open a bundle and I slow rolled all of the foil lands. So you can get a good look at the artwork in that video. Should have gone up a few days ago. This is my third overall Bloomboro video. We've got Fountain Port. Very cool. Dawn's Truce, Alania, Bloodroot Apothecary, Valley Floodcaller. Very cool, very cool. Hoping to get something good. This set is very popular, it seems. Boxes are going for over MSRP. All right, Valley Flame Collar. Ooh, Luminous Brood Moth. Very cool. Very cool. All right, Dark Star Augur. Steel Burr Champion. Yeah, we're in like an average of two commander cards per pack. Planes, very cool. All right, Bushy Bodyguard. Going. Oh, that's cool. Long River Lurker. Very nice.
nice, very nice. All right, second half of the box. Only, well, two for regular set. I think we had a couple Mythics for Commander, so I think we have like four Mythics total. Right, unstick that. All right, Wishing Well. Got a Derevi. Card seems pretty common. Whisker Veil Forerunner. Octomancer. Got a Luge, the Shoreless Sea. Elemental Fish. Interesting. All right. And Hunter's Talent. Look, ooh, what is that? Downwind Ambusher. All righty, next pack. Unstick that. All right. Iridescent Vine Lasher. Interesting. All right. Ooh, Rao, Crackling Wit. Very cool. We've got Valley Quest Caller. Jacked Rabbit. That's funny. That's funny. That's something that they would have in an unset. Fecund Green Shell. A Jacked Rabbit. That is funny. We've got a scrap shooter, byway barterer, all right, thorn bolt forager, Tamio field researcher, very nice. Not the same Tamio we just had in MH3, but still Tamio, cool, still a mythic. Mockingbird, mountain. All right, I'm not sure. If this box is from the same case as our last box, but it probably is. I mean, we got a raised foil in our last box. It probably wouldn't be a raised foil in this box. Ral emblem. All right. Oh my goodness. The timing on that. Look at that. Raised. We're two for two on raised foils. That is incredible luck. And it's Mabel. This is one of the really good ones. That's incredible. Two for two on raised foils. That's crazy. That is some crazy good luck. That is awesome. Put that back there. Two for two with raised foils. Holy cow. Portent of Calamity. Got Hazel of the Root Bloom. Zoraline, Cosmos Collar. That is so cool. Two packs left. Wow, two for two on the raised foils. I'm not going to be able to get over that. You know how many boxes I opened trying to get like a serialized card or something decent at least? And then with this set, ooh, Season of Gathering as well. Cool, cool. Um, yeah, two for two. So it's like, if you're trying to look for something, you won't get it. But if you're just opening boxes because it's the new set that came out, then all of a sudden you start getting a bunch of stuff you weren't even expecting to get. It's like, hey, I'll just grab two collector boxes. Sure, why not? Two raised foils. <laughs> that's awesome. Here to the crab flame. So that's... I mean, I would be surprised if we pulled anything worth more than that. Mabel Raised Foil. That's super cool. So, last pack. What do we got? Beza, the Bounding Spring. Nice last pack mythic. Got Narset. Lunar Convocation. 20 Toad Toad. And Season of Loss. Wow, a double mythic in our last pack. Very cool. All right, so let's take a look at that Mabel once more. 
That is super cool. So, like the video, comment on the video. That is how you enter. Very nice. Beautiful, beautiful card. Two for two on raised foils. All right, so if you want to get in on future giveaways, then make sure to subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.